the most accurate weather forecast in South Texas with Chief Meteorologist Dale Nelson. All right, welcome back everybody and a good evening to you. Here is our live sky cam showing those cereal stratus clouds off to the west. Uh, indication of a few thunder showers that pushed into the upper atmosphere and died out and that uh, we are high and dry now here in the coastal bend after another round of isolated showers that started this morning near the coast pushing inland with the sea breeze in the afternoon. We had one a pretty vigorous shower out there in western Oasis County. So that's got to be tough on the cotton crop turned to harvest, which is very late this year. But again, you can see just a few isolated spots with measurable rain. And where it did rain out there anywhere from about two tenths to nearly an inch of rain just south of Mathis. So you folks in Mathis got missed again uh, by the rainfall, but such is the nature of scattered and even in this case isolated to stray showers. That's what we'll see tomorrow, a diminishment in rainfall. There'll still be some near the coast in the morning, a little bit inland in the afternoon, but not much. As we move into Friday, we have a weak frontal boundary up to the north that will generate uh, from the outflow from it a few showers in the northern sections of the coastal bend. Friday afternoon, that goes away, and then Saturday, pretty dry too. You can't rule out a stray shower any given day, but overall, the rainfall coverage is going to be pretty sparse, and the rainfall amounts where it actually does rain are going to be pretty light. So we're not looking at much in the rainfall department at all. The uh, cloudiness that we just saw on the sky cam is spreading off to the west, so it'll make for a nice sunset tonight around 813. There's that little frontal boundary in north central Texas that will push a little bit further south before dying out uh, here on Friday afternoon. Nothing extraordinary going on across the country. Much of the east coast getting a chance to actually dry out a little bit. And for us, the main center of high pressure is north of us, so that's allowing a little bit of moisture to come in from the tropics, but not a lot. In the, this is the upper air pattern, but in the mid-levels of the atmosphere, we're pretty dry with high pressure. So underneath the high pressure, it's hot except where it's raining, and uh, that would be the case in Jacksonville, Florida, where they only have 78 degrees, while Chicago's at 84, just to give you an example. Next weather makers, the high pressure system staying away from us, delivering the heat to the western United States uh, from the border of Mexico all the way up to the border of Canada. And again, we have a weakness in the atmosphere here that will deliver a stray shower or two, but not very much. Our winds, they're going to be on the light side here overnight, and that'll allow us to drop into the upper 70s. Pretty steamy, moderate breeze tomorrow afternoon, light winds again on Friday morning. Then the winds uh, start to pick up a little bit here more Friday, but especially over the weekend. As far as the tropics go, uh, Hector is going to miss Hawaii to the south. That is good news. Elsewhere, nothing for us to worry about. Here is a look at your NEC Co-op Energy 7-day forecast. 76 tonight, 96 here tomorrow, 77 and 96 Friday. Again, we'll see a few sea breeze showers Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And then just plain old nasty, windy and hot Sunday through Wednesday of next week. Lows up near 80, highs where they should be this time of the year in the mid-90s, but the heat index just deplorable.